Hey guys, it's Eric, and I'm back again with another quick video for you. And today I want to talk about something specific. I want to talk about two elements that are going to get people to actually buy when using social proof. One of the biggest mistakes that I see when it comes to social proof is having facts and numbers only. That is a huge, huge, huge error, okay? Facts and numbers are not what push your prospects or your leads over the edge to sign up with you. Facts and numbers are what get them interested in you. Okay, so if you had, let's say, a weight loss client that lost 100 pounds in six months and you have the headline, Jane lost 100 pounds in six months, that is not going to sell them. That is going to draw them in and be like, wow, Jane was able to do that. Let me find out more. Okay, and then what a lot of people do is they lead with more facts. And another person said, well, you know, she was able to do this and eat this many calories and start listing all these numbers. And that stuff is really, really key, really important. But that is not the most important element. And that is not what pushes them over the edge. So you have to understand the second part of this. And again, this is something I've talked about at length before, but the second part of this is the emotional side. You see that headline, Jane lost 100 pounds in six months. Where is the emotion now coming into it? You need to be able to apply that emotion to the fact to get the most power out of something. So if you have someone who lost 100 pounds in six months, and you've got that headline, you've got that information, you've got their attention, they want to know more. But to know more, it's not shoving more facts down their throats. Now they want to know how that person did it. They want to know that story. They want to know the emotions behind that so that they can actually see the journey and feel it themselves. Because people can see the facts all they want. But unless they feel what that person went through and they can feel what it would be for them to go through it as well, they are not going to sign up. And if they do, it's probably not going to end up the kind of client that you want. And a perfect example is maybe the last time you purchased a car, you probably didn't buy the car based off the numbers on the sticker on the window alone. You probably bought the car off of once you drove it, the test drive. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have those facts which draw people in, they get them interested, kind of keep their attention up, but then really bring them through that emotional journey and through their story so that other people can feel what is actually going on. And if you have trouble doing the emotion and figuring out how to do that, don't worry, you don't have to do it. That's where your clients come in. That's where social proof and testimonials come in. You let your clients share their stories on video, which is an emotional experience of theirs, and other people will pick up on that emotion. So if you really want to get the sales side of things, kind of knocking it out of the park and getting higher conversions and more leads, etc., combine the facts, figures type of stuff with the emotion, and you're going to have a winning formula. So that's the video for this week. If you have any other questions, just let me know.